up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the new 2022 toyota tacoma courtesy of younger toyota in hagerstown maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below so we are in this one today because for one toyota of course has legendary reliability and that does include the tacoma as well not only that there's actually some suspension upgrades for the 2022 model year as well which we will of course be covering in this video along with everything else about this one from acceleration to braking steering for ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so as you can imagine there are several different trim levels for the 2022 tacoma first one being the sr which actually is the one we have today starting at twenty seven thousand one hundred and fifty dollars sr5 for twenty eight nine forty trd sport for thirty four thousand sixty dollars trd off-road for thirty five thousand three forty limited for thirty nine thousand nine hundred and five dollars and lastly the trd pro starting at forty six thousand five hundred and eighty five dollars and that was all base pricing for each individual trim low of course there are plenty of options being whether you get rear wheel drive or four wheel drive there's the bed length and engine options as well and speaking of when it comes to the power plant on the tacoma there are two engine configurations first one is going to be available for the sr and sr5 trims and actually the one again that we have today and that is going to be a 2.7 liter naturally aspirated inline four cylinder putting out 159 horsepower at 5200 rpm 180 pound feet of torque coming in at 3800 rpm power center rear wheels are all wheels through a six speed automatic with mpg numbers coming in at 20 in the city 23 then on the highway taking regular unleaded fuel but so then there is that other engine option for the other trims and that is going to be a 3.5 liter direct injected atkinson cycle v6 putting out 278 horsepower at 6000 rpm 265 pound feet of torque coming in at 4600 rpm power center rear wheels or all wheels through a six speed manual actually is available or a six-speed automatic zero to 60 time for that engine configuration it's going to come in at approximately 7.6 seconds mpg numbers coming in at 19 in the city 24 on the highway for the rear wheel drive variant 17 city 21 then on the highway for the four wheel drive again taking regular unleaded fuel and so having now got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and put that acceleration here to the test keep in the back of your mind we do have the four cylinder slightly less powerful engine option today so let's go ahead and find that straight away let's put the tacoma here to the test and let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed all right in three two one a little bit of a rolling start but here we go it's not bad it feels like a four-cylinder quite honestly i've driven the v6 in this tacoma plenty of times that one is pretty darn good and zero to 60 and 7.6 in that engine that is it's plenty of an acceleration for that thing this one just does all right it does feel like a four-cylinder it definitely sounds like a four-cylinder but it should get the job done i'll just put it that way but anyways to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important so up front you will find 10.8 inch ventilated front disc and the back 10 inch rear drum brakes as far as that 60 easier stopping distance goes it's actually going to come in at 143 feet and as far as the braking feel goes it's actually okay it's a little bit on the softer side it's slower speeds i'll put it that way it's a definitely a soft braking feel at slower speeds but when you're going a little bit quicker it's really not that bad honestly but having said that 143 might be the very worst 60 zero number that i have ever seen typically with pickup trucks you do get a little bit higher of a number but still 143 feet is certainly not the best i've ever tested but anyway then touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get a double wishbone type front suspension in the back leaf spring rear suspension front and rear stabilizer bars gas pressurized shock absorbers as well sport tuned suspension though coming with the trd sport and then you will get an off-road suspension with bilstein shocks if you were to go with that trd off-road trim and then the trd pro is going to bump that up even more giving you a machine forged upper control arm and trd tuned off-road suspension with 2.5 inch fox internal bypass coilovers and rear remote reservoir shocks as well and i do want to also mention although we don't have them today there are drive modes available when it comes to the suspension they are available again we don't have them but these drive bins will include mud and sand loose rock rock and dirt and mogul and rock as well helping you reduce the wheel spin adjust the throttle response and messes around with the traction control settings then as well so 
As far as ride quality goes, it's actually been perfectly fine. This thing rides pretty darn smooth so far on my short test drive here today, so definitely no issues there. As far as steering feel goes, it's brilliant. I love the steering feel on the Tacoma. I always have whenever I test drive them. It tends to lean a bit on the heavier side of things, so I personally appreciate. It gives the driver a better feeling of being in control, at least in my personal opinion, so definitely like the heavier steering feel on the Tacoma. As far as cabin noise goes, it's perfectly fine yet again. Certainly had no issues with that my short test drive. And touching on visibility, I can see perfectly fine out the back. It looks like a traditional truck visibility and because we have the access cab, it's probably even better. But anyways, that about rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's still go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 Toyota Tacoma. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2022 Toyota Tacoma. And just so you guys know, here's a quick shot of the window sticker, just so everybody knows it is indeed a 2022. There's only one slight new change when it comes to the exterior for 2022, and that's going to be some updated wheel options, specifically for the TRD Pro. So I did want to start by mentioning that, but let's go ahead and start up front, actually. Of course, the front grille is going to differ depending upon which trim level that you go with. To the sides, then, projector beam halogen headlights do come standard for all trim levels, but the limited, but those projector beam halogens like we have here today that will come with daytime running lights, the automatic feature as well, and actually automatic high beams do come standard for every single trim level yet again, meaning when you have your high beams on at night, it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction. It's going to automatically bounce those back to low beams. Then when that vehicle is gone, it's automatically going to bump it back up to high beams again. So definitely a very convenient feature there. Just down below underneath of those headlights though, fog lights will come in the SR5 trim level and up. So we just missed them here on our SR trim level, unfortunately, but TRD Pro front skid plates, of course, coming with the TRD Pro, obviously, and you were looking for that hood scoop that the Tacoma has come to be known for that is going to be found on the TRD Sport trim level end up so that's how you're going to go ahead and get that but pretty much rounds out the front end of this one let's now go ahead and make our way to the side all right so now making our way to the side of the Tacoma here of course there are access and double cab configurations available we do have the access cab with the double cab you actually get the door handle on the rear doors there it's going to give you more leg room in the back and more space overall in the back I guess Tacoma badging can be found on the front door doors dependent upon which trim level that you go with we don't have that here today body color power adjustable side mirrors do come standard the side mirrors will be heated then as well and then integrated turn signals are going to come on them if you were to go with the TRD off-road trim level and up. Then taking a look at the wheel configuration, steel wheels are going to come with the SR. There are some options, however, available. I actually love the look of the wheels on our SR that we have here today. Dark gray alloys coming with the SR5, 17 inch machine finished alloys for the TRD Sport, 16 inch machine finished alloys for the TRD off-road, 16 inch black alloys for the TRD Pro, and then 18 inch polished alloys then for the limited but pretty much rounds out the side profile here. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back of the Tacoma. So now since we are around to the back of this one, if your Tacoma is equipped with four wheel drive, you will get that four by four badging that you guys are looking at on the left side of that tailgate there. Tacoma lettering can be found on the tailgate there as well. V6 badging, if equipped, we obviously don't have that badging there today. And there is a tow hitch that is available down below. And by the way, the towing capacity for all trim levels is going to come in at 6,400 pounds in case you were curious. But then just below it all, there is a single exhaust outlet tucked away on the passenger side underneath there. So having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. So now since we are around to the back of the Tacoma, there is an easy lower tailgate that just comes standard across the board. As far as the bed sizes go, five foot or six foot beds are available. There is a deck rail system back there with four adjustable tie down cleats. There's also four fixed tie down points as well. As far as the bed material goes, there is a fiber reinforced sheet molded composite bed that comes standard across the board. I like that because a lot of 
other manufacturers won't actually put a nice bed liner like this one actually comes with standard so that is pretty cool there's some storage compartments back there there's some bed lighting of course and there's a tonneau cover that is available if you wanted to go that route of course this is not going to come standard but then make your way up to the rear legroom that's going to come in at 24.6 inches for the access cab what you guys are looking at right now and then 32.6 inches for the double cab in case you were curious there are no charging ports back there there is a little bit of storage though in between the two rear seats there not only that those rear seats of course do fold up in typical truck fashion if you wanted to rather use that back seat area for a little bit of storage for tools or whatever and there is a rear power window for the sr5 trim level and up otherwise for our sr that we have today it is a manual window which quite honestly is plenty fine for me but now let's go ahead and make our way to the front seats manually adjustable cloth seating coming with the sr trim 10-way power driver seat for the sr5 trim level and up leather seating them for the trd pro and limited and then those leather seats will be heated then for those two trim levels as well overall though as far as the seat comfort goes it's plenty fine it is cloth seats and they are manually adjustable in our sr but quite honestly they didn't bother me so definitely didn't have any issues there then take a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is wrapped in urethane for our sr trim level however if you were to go with the sr5 and up you will get a leather wrapped steering wheel and i did say it was tilt and telescoping but having said that the telescoping part doesn't really telescope out all that far so there's very little adjustment when it comes to the telescoping part so if you're somewhat taller adult and you have longer legs and you have to put your seat back a little bit further just keep in the back of your mind that the telescoping steering wheel is not going to come out maybe as far as you needed it to so i did want to mention that because that was kind of my particular situation here but anyways then making our way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key here you got your toyota logo on the one side then when you flip it over lock and unlock but i will say it is a push button start for the trd pro and limited trim levels but if you don't go with those you got the traditional turnkey start so all i'm going to do here so let me put my foot on the brake and turn the key and so but then once started up tachometers all the way to your left speedometer then is all the way to your right and there is a digital speedometer located front and center to control what is on that digital portion of the speedometer go ahead and use the steering wheel mounted controls found on the right side of the steering wheel it's going to give you things like a digital speedometer how many miles you have left until you hit empty there's your outside temperature trip a trip b when you need your next oil change the list goes on so pretty much everything you could possibly need on the digital portion of the gauges there then make our way to overall interior quality there is an overhead sunglass holder cool cool that does come standard for all trim levels across the board power moonroof coming with the trd pro and limited leather trimmed shifter coming with the trd sport trim level and up auto dimming rear view mirror with home light controls that is going to come with the trd pro and limited trims dual zone climate control coming with the sr5 otherwise you're going to get the manual climate control that we have here today wireless phone charger then coming with the trd sport trim level and up just the front of the shifter though you do have a decent amount of storage and perhaps a place to put your cell phone you got your dual cup holders behind the shifter you actually have another cup holder and then a little bit more storage then within the center armrest you have a usb charging port and a phone charging port and a decent amount of storage in there as well and i do like the tacoma lettering found on the passenger side glove box there i think that looks pretty cool there is some grayish soft touch material located on the doors as well also very nice there but for the most part at least in our sr trim level that we have today everything is kind of finished more on the basic side more of the practical to the point i guess you could say kind of interior quality but that pretty much sums that up and now let's go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen seven inch color touch screen display is what you guys are currently looking at and that is going to come on the sr trim level only then if you were to jump up to the sr5 and up you will get an eight inch color touch screen display either way though you still get bluetooth and audio streaming you still are going to get android auto and apple carplay in this current display that we have here today so that's pretty cool factory navigation system is going to come on the trd pro and limited trims as far as the sound system goes you will get six speakers for all trim levels across the board however if you were to go with the trd pro and limited trims that will be a six speaker jbl sound system as opposed to the manufactured one for all the other ones but the jbl is going to give you a subwoofer and an external amp as well but that's not the one of course that we have today so having said that what do you guys say let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and Let's test out the six speaker sound system that we have here today. Quite honestly, for the access cab, as little bit of a space that is in this vehicle, six speakers is plenty fine. Honestly, that would be crystal clear. 
more than enough bass. Actually, the bass surprised me because, again, I was expecting a six-speaker sound system that was going to sound like a six-speaker sound system. But quite honestly, this one sounded a little bit above average for six speakers. So definitely didn't have any issues with that sound system. I'll just put it that way. But anyways, last thing I'm going to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the Tacoma in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board. Limited is going to add to that a panoramic view monitor, which is going to let you know what is completely all around you, which is always is going to lead us into safety and so to start front side side curtain airbags do come standard driver and passenger knee airbags as well in the back you're going to have latch aka lower anchors and tethers to children for the rear car seats rear child door locks tire pressure monitoring system but then also coming standard for all trim levels across the board will be a pre-collision system with pedestrian detection dynamic radar cruise control and lane departure alert as well and then if you were to go with the trd pro or limited trims that will add in addition to that a blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert and so overall when it comes to my final thoughts here of the tacoma great reliability just check out a consumer reports magazine that'll back that statement up v6 is plenty powerful like i said i've driven that plenty of times and that's probably the engine configuration i would personally go with in this thing but the four cylinder is okay, but the V6 is definitely where you're gonna to wanna to be at in the Tacoma. Also a very off-road capable truck as well, dependent upon the trim level that you go with, but it is a four wheel drive system even on our SR, but yeah, it's very off-road capable, again, dependent upon the trim. And the fact that a six speed manual is still available in the Tacoma, I think that's pretty cool. You usually don't find that on vehicles at all these days. So I thought that was pretty cool. As far as the room for improvement goes, it does tend to lean a little bit on the basic side of interior quality. So I will say that, but also a full digital gauge cluster, I think would be pretty cool in this vehicle as well. I knew the new Tundra has it, and I know they're not a whole lot to produce because a lot of entry level vehicles are now starting to come standard with the digital gauge cluster as well. So wouldn't have minded seeing that in here as well. But that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold